All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see some of you come out and brave this Shasta Lake wind today. It is really getting with it. These fishermen had to go out there and buck some waves today, but we know they caught some fish. Hello to all our viewers online. Welcome. And uh, anybody wanting to watch the live feed, just go to wildwestbasstrail.com and it's gonna be playing right there on the homepage of the website. Um, we started off this event on Friday. We fished Friday and Saturday with 230 anglers, 115 professional anglers, and 115 co-anglers. And in this format, um, top 10 only fishes on Sunday, which we call Championship Sunday. So over at our bump tanks over here, we have the top 10 co's and the top 10 pros. And today, we're gonna crown a champion on the co-angler side and on the pro side. So the way it works is, we have the co-angler leader right there, Andrew Jenke, is on what we call the hot seat. Is it hot? Oh yeah, real hot. <laughs> is it hotter than the boat seat you were in? Yeah, I'm wondering if my uh, luck ran out today. <laughs> Well, we'll see. I don't know. It's hard to look at those poker faces back there and know what they're really holding in those bags, right? But for right now, buddy, you are on the hot seat. So congratulations and congrats on making the top 10 here at Shasta Lake, the season opener for Wild West Bass Trail Pro-Ams, a super clean showdown. And we are going to go in an order like this. We're going to start with the 10th place co-angler. When I call him up, he is going to weigh... And if he's got any fish at all, he's probably going to bump Mr. Andrew for a minute. And then Andrew is going to be the last angler to weigh. So we're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7 all the way back to Andrew. And then that will be the telltale moment to see if he takes home the trophy or not. So who's ready to get started? Let me read through our sponsor list here real quick. Uh, our sponsors have been super supportive uh, for this event. We couldn't hold something like this without them. Those partnerships and relationships are what makes this whole thing tick. So, like, when you go shopping, if you can, on these um, sponsors that you see on the banner, if there's something you need and they carry it, we like to shop with our sponsors and support them as much as we can. So, thanks to our partner, Super Clean. This is the Super Clean Showdown, Bridge Bay Marina and Resort. They took good care of us these last few days. Thank you, Zach. Lake Shasta Caverns, National Natural Landmark, Cal Custom Carts in Redding. Jason hooked us up with these Can-Am side-by-sides, and they made our life really easy, hauling you anglers up and down the hill in those big ruts and stuff, so thank you, Jason. Bass Cat Boats, Feel the Rush. St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth, and they also sponsor our Angler of the Year program. So at the end of this season, the top pro and the top co will get their entry fees paid next year, and they get to fish for free. So that's always a good um, perk. A&M Graphics, Excel Marketing LLC, your dish premier local retailer. AccuCull for the culling systems and accessories. Ben Green Insurance. Bob's Machine Shop, Jack Plates Made in the USA, Bridgeford Foods, the premium brand. We've been eating a lot of that pepperoni up here the last couple days. Duo International, Nip and Quality, Fisherman's Warehouse Megastore, Garmin, thanks to Rich. He already caught his flight, but Rich has been here the last couple days out supporting for Garmin. The Electronics, Lake Shasta Caverns. Mercury Marine, go boldly. We had the Merc trailer here the first uh, two days of the event with Tyrell. Navionics, a Garmin brand. Next Gen Lithium, the leader and innovator of lithium battery systems. And P-Line, because we fish. Phil's Propellers and Quality Tackle. Phil's been here every day and I saw him, yeah, be sitting over there again. Thank you for your support, Phil. We had the meet and greet and tournament meeting there on Thursday night. You cooked us up some food and we appreciate you. Power Pole Total Boat Control, Price Family Dealerships, Torch Eyewear, Sport Performance Eyewear, Valley Outdoors, 
Wood Brothers Flooring, Carpet and Flooring Store, Bass Angler Magazine, Mr. Mark Lassane, Bassin Magazine, and Bass Union Tackle and Guide Service. All right, who's ready to see some fish get weighed? <laughs> so for our online viewers also, I wanted to let you know we've been having the contest each day to guess the big fish so you could win the Duo Realis prize pack that David Swinside sent us from the person that guesses the closest to the total winning weight of this event on the pro side, and you have to put it in the comments, we're going to send you out a prize package from Duo Realis. Sound good? All right. Let's get this baby started with our first co-angler that is going to come up, Mr. Ryan Gutierrez. And Ryan, it looks like you need 2.15 pounds to knock Andrew off of that. He's got that thing so toasty warm, dude. I mean, you got to knock him just to feel the warmth, right? Okay, come on up. All right, do you have any you want to weigh for big fish? No. No? How many fish you got today? I got five. Okay, let's put them on here. It's ready to go. Let's see what you got. So Ryan Gutierrez, five bass limit, 9.36 pounds. That's a good bag of fish, man. Why don't you tell the crowd out here a little bit about your tournament so far? Uh, it's been pretty awesome. Fished with uh, three pretty cool dudes. Uh, Nick Wood, um, <laughs> I don't remember the other guys, <laughs> no, I fished with, uh, I'm a little jumbled up right now, okay. um, I'd like to thank my wife for letting me come to these things, I'd like to say hi to my kids, uh, my travel partners are awesome, always have a great time with those boys, and I don't know, it's cold out here, <laughs> it was, it was fun, today was windy, but had a good time, caught a lot of fish. That's about it. Well, here's the good news. You're taking the hot seat. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. We'll see for how long. How long will it last? That's always the question, right? Yep. Anyone else you want to say thank you to while you got the mic and people online watching you? Uh, yeah. John Pearl. He was the other. Randy. Randy's a good dude. Thanks, Randy. Good peeps, man. Well, congrats. Hot seat is yours now for the time being, man. Let's see what happens here. All right. So we got Ryan Gutierrez is leading the co-side with 30.07 pounds. And next up, we've got Mr. Eugene. And he is going to need 8.88 pounds to take it over, Eugene. Is it going to be close? I love when it's close, man. Nine point five six pounds. New leader on the coast side, Eugene Downing. Excellent job, man. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I want to thank my pros for Friday. Uh, Mel Williams got me on the fish, and Aaron Herring Saturday got me on them. Enough to make the championship Sunday, and we'll see how long I sit over here for. And anyone else you want to thank while you got the whole world watching? My beautiful wife over there, my daughter, my uncle Donk, and I'd like to thank my boss at Robinson Brothers Construction for giving me the time off to come down here and fish. Fantastic. It's always, it takes a big support group. Your family, um, without that support, it's hard to get in your truck and take off to the lake if they're not behind you. And also your boss, too. It helps to have a job, right? Yes, sir. It does definitely help out. Well, congratulations. Um, I guess we're going to see you at Orville, right? Yes, sir. Fantastic. Good job today. Thank you. The hot seat is shuffling. How does, is it pretty warm? Yeah, it's kind of warm. Okay, good. It'll get warmer as the day progresses. <laughs> All right, so next up, we got Mr. Brian Fesler. He came in today, to today with 21.24 pounds of Shasta Bass, and he's going to need nine 0.53 pounds now to knock Eugene off the hot seat. So come on up. Oh, he's got that poker face too. How'd it go, buddy? Great. 
It looks like it. Yeah. It looks like it, man. Wow, Brian Fessler, 11.51 pounds, brand new leader here today at the Super Clean Showdown on Lake Shasta on the coast side. Go ahead and take the mic and thank anybody you want to thank and tell us about your event. Okay, thank you. Uh, first foremost, I got to thank my wife for uh, putting up with me, letting me come out here and do this. Um, Wild West, of course, Bridge Bay. Um, the host uh, family that took me in last night after I made it, um, Kleins, Bradshaw, uh, friends, uh, I gotta thank those guys. Uh, Dobbins Rods, of course, uh, Bass Union, Manny's Rod Shop, all uh, helped me out. Cal Custom, Redding, uh, I certainly appreciate it. Uh, I couldn't do this without their support. Uh, and, and my three pros were amazing. Uh, I fished with Ken Ma day one, put me on fish. Uh, I caught all my fish on a Cinco uh, with him. And then the day two, I fished with Chad LeBlanc. Uh, we went through so many fish and I caught him on numerous baits. And then today I fished with uh, Logan and, and yeah, he put me on the fish. I had, I had a great tournament. So, thank you. Fantastic. And I love what you said about you made the top 10 and those guys said, hey, just come on, stay with us. We got you covered. That's what this bass f fishing community is all about. Yeah, and I can't uh, forget Amy for my breakfast burrito. It was amazing. I think that was the luck. <laughs> those breakfast burritos are important. Well, congrats. You are in the hot seat. New leader, Brian Fesler on the co-angler side. Okay, moving right along here, we've got next up. Here we go. Next up on the co-angler side, we have Colby Hunt, five bass limit. He came in today with 21.28. You're gonna need 11.48. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening today. Hey, that happens sometimes, right? Close. 10.12 pounds total weight. Colby, you had a great event. Go ahead and take the mic and thank you who you wanna thank. and. Whatever you want to share, it's your time, okay? All right. Just want to thank my pros. They were all super cool. Um, thank my parents and my brother just for pre fishing with me. Um, me and my brother were both top 10, so that was cool. And yeah, that's about it. You're no stranger to the top 10s, are you? I've seen you quite a few times. No, I've made a couple now. Right on. Well, young man, keep it up. You got a bright future ahead of you, and thanks for coming out and fishing with us. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah. Told. Okay. Scott Holman's going to be the next angler up. He's got four today. Came in with 21.32 pounds for two days. You're going to need 11.44. Not going to happen. Total weight today for Scott, 7.85 pounds. Go ahead and share a little bit about your event, Scott. All right. I want to thank uh, Wild West, all three of my pros, Matt Atkin, Adam Buckholtz, and Alex Klein guys putting me on the fish make it easy for you for us uh finding the fish is the key catching them is easy these guys put a lot of time a lot of effort to get us on the fish so i want to thank those guys tip the hat say hi to my mom and dad my sons my brother mark and his family and the boys up at uh, anglers marine
Thanks for sharing that. And that's so true. You know, catching them isn't really that difficult. Now, finding them, that's a whole nother ball game. And these guys can sniff them out, man. They find these fish on these big bodies of water on one little rock or whatever and just catch the heck out of them. Can't thank them enough. Well, I'm glad you had a great tournament. All right, staying on that hot seat, man. You look like you're getting pretty cozy. And you're looking pretty uh, professional sitting there, too. Maybe it's going to last the whole event. Okay, next up, we got Rick Knight on the co-angler side. He brought in three fish today. He started the tournament with 21.7 pounds. He's going to need 11.06, Rick. It could be three bigs could do that, right? Let's we'll see. Total weight, 5.01 pounds, and I know uh, I talked to you last night, man, and you were pumped to go out here and uh, tell me a little bit about your day and in your tournament. I tell you what, it was a lot of fun. First thing I did to call my wife and said, I'm glad I didn't fall out of the boat today because the wind was blowing like crazy. But it was a uh, good day of fishing. I had Dan Eckhart take me out. I had a good time with him. The day before, I had Jason uh, Milligan, man, I tell you what, and Randy Pearson. The pros out here are fabulous. You can't you can't beat them when you get them get a chance to get out here. Every time I do it, I learn something, and that's the most important thing. So thanks to uh, these guys for all the work they do, and Wild West for putting these tournaments on. And we come all the way from Arizona, so it's a it's a great time to come up here and get a chance to fish these lakes. Well, buddy, I love your attitude, and I hope you fish some more of these events because uh, you were full of enthusiasm and smiling and having a good time, and, man, that stuff's contagious. Forgot to thank my wife. Thank my wife for letting me come. That's an important one. You saved the best for last, right? <laughs> Thanks for coming out and fishing, man. Great event. Okay. We've got Mr. Matt Malife. He's got five bass today. Came in with 21.81 for two days. You're going to need 10.95, Matt. Nope. No? Let's see. 7.76 pounds. You had a great tournament. Why don't you share a little bit about your event? Yeah, it was great. Um, like everybody else, I'd like to thank the three guys I fished with. Um, Jim Vretzos and uh, Trent Von Newberg and then Chad today. Uh, fantastic people, all three of them, and uh, had a fantastic time. So thanks for putting on the event, and we'll see you down the road. At hey, thank you for coming out. And these guys, this staff at Wild West Bass, I've never been behind the scenes until this weekend. They work their tails off. I don't think one of them went to put their head on their pillow before midnight every night at this event. I mean... They put on a really good show, so we're thankful. Um, do you have a fish you want to take a picture of? Doesn't have to be a monster. Just grab grab one out there, and they'll get a picture. There are no monsters. That's all right. You worked hard for those right. fish. Thanks, man. Thank you. Cast a leg, man. Look at that smile. You ready to share a little bit? Tell them how you caught them? Sure, sure. Uh, first of all, thank my wife and my kids and my parents for coming up, seeing me today. That means a lot. Um, I absolutely love this lake. I came up here with the intention just to you know, learn a little bit, watch the pros. Um, I was paired with three great guys, uh, super nice guys. I'm convinced that there are fish everywhere in this lake. It's, it's just uh, the lake's really healthy. There's bait everywhere. Um, luckily, they fished slow enough to where I could uh, slow down and catch a few. So, um, most uh, all my fish. And then I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you talk again. I I should have had you grab the fish first. You got some nice fish in there, but let's uh, take a picture. Get them in the live release boat. Beautiful spotted bass. Continue. So. Um, most of my fish this week came on uh, a three-inch Ned, a uh, six-inch trick worm on a shaky head, and a little small swim bait on a ball head. Um, today, I, I heavied up all my weights so I can actually feel because it was so windy, but that was kind of important today. But uh, it was a great time. It was really fun. Like I said, I absolutely love this lake. It's gorgeous up here. You guys got to 
tremendous fishery. So thanks a bunch. So you were saying you fish just uh, just like a ball head with a like a kayak or something like that? Sure, a little little shad imitating a swim bait. Okay, yeah. it's you're not giving all the good yet. It is January at Shasta. There's a lot of events coming up. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know if it really matters, but yeah, just there's you got to imitate what they're eating, and they're eating shad right now. So. Bellies are just, yeah, sticking out. Okay, well, congratulations. We have a brand new leader here taking over the hot seat. It should be nice and warm. He was sitting there for quite a while. Okay, next we have Mr. Kyle Porter. Oh, excuse me. They're, they're updating my monitor here. Kyle is in the lead now with 33.25 pounds. So next up, we've got David Zavar with the 5.18. David, Hello. what you got, man? You got a few, didn't you? 5.22 pounds. You want to get a picture? Um, sure. All right, they're there. Yeah, go ahead. Take a picture. You worked hard to catch those bass today. I know it, because that wind is... <laughs> you bet. So go ahead and uh, share a little bit about your event and anybody you want to thank. Sure, yeah. Um, just happy to make the top 10. Wanted to thank my pros, uh, Joe Mariani, um, Joe Roscoe. I got two Joes, and, uh, and of course, uh, Gary uh, today as well. So uh, thanks to all of them. Um, Excited to be here again. Excited to make the top ten. It was, it was a big jump for me. I, I think I got big bass, and that helped a lot. I, I think I jumped 49 places. So, um, just happy to be in the top ten. Happy to be here and uh, see everybody. And just wanted to thank everybody for their support at home. And I uh, thank my wife uh, for letting me come out and fish. And uh, excited to go uh, to the next tournament. Uh, what was your big fish? Uh, 613. And that moved you up 45 places. Yes. Yeah. That's Lake Shasta, right? Well, congratulations. Thanks for sharing. And I'm, you had a great event. Okay. Whoa. Are we down to the last two already? It's time, man. You're going to have to stand up. <laughs> You're ready. I love that grin, man. So, Jason from California Custom presenting you with the winner's trophy. And, and smile big to these guys. Kyle, congratulations. Thank you very much. Keep that smile going, man. The world needs a lot more of those. Thank Wild West for coming. Thank you guys, Wild West, for coming up and uh, putting on a great tournament. Um, had a blast, man. Let's weigh some pros. Anybody, wait, anybody you want to thank? Yeah, I already thanked them. My wife and my parents and my kids. I love you guys. Thanks for coming up. <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations. And congrats on second. Appreciate you. All right, there's our co-anglers. Congratulations to Mr. Kyle Porter. First place on the co-angler side. He's going to get a good check. He got him a trove on to the pro side. Thank you, Michael. Is anybody cold out there? If you're cold, raise your hand. Okay, come here. Come on up here. I've got another layer for you. Okay, they might be a little big. You might have to use it like for PJs or something. Okay, what's your name, young lady? My name is Peyton Porter. Peyton Porter, what's your name? Jackson. Jackson. Now, I see there's a third person here. What's your name? Peyton. Two Peytons? All right. Now, you guys are going to have to, like, figure out, play some kind of contest or something. Wait. No, I've got an idea. The girls, you take those. Okay. Hold on just a second. You're going to love this, man. <laughs> so, Super Clean is the sponsor of this event, the Super Clean Showdown. It's got the flag on the back and Super Clean and some camo. You like that? All right, kids, congratulations. Watch your step when you back up. I love seeing kids get these. 
And next, we are going to go to 10th coming into today. He had 23.27 pounds of Shasta Lake bass. He's going to need 2.89 pounds to take over that hot seat, Mr. Randy Pearson. Looking good, Randy. Total weight today for Randy, 8.31 pounds. Go ahead and grab one. Let's get a picture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you worked hard for those fish, man. Tell us about your event, Randy. Oh, uh, you know, I I uh, you know came up and practiced and had a pretty good practice and thought I had a special area and obviously twenty thirty other boats found the same stuff, so it was pretty pretty amazing to see how many guys found the same same water and everything but the last day of practice I just kind of got off the water and said okay I know what I'm going to be doing and today the wind everything was exposed to the wind where I was fishing it was uh, on the south south side of the bank so it was exposed to the north wind but it was just one of those days that coming in the 10th place it was kind of nice because just go out and fish and I couldn't fall out of the top 10 and and I made sure I caught a limit and then I just went and threw swim baits and what was the weird thing was the first day I caught you know my fish uh, on a Nico rig and uh, I had the big fish which was for something excellent thank you sir and why don't you share about your event alrighty yeah this is uh, my first pro I've ever done first or probably second time I've been to Shasta first time I've had my boat here so I had a great event, uh, did all my damage with a drop shot, uh, stayed main lake, and then today, obviously the north wind kind of blew in areas that I was fishing the most. I um, want to thank all my sponsors. My big thing I want to talk about is uh, my title sponsor, Limitop Marine. They're uh, hosting a pro-am on May 4th and 5th. It's a $600 buy-in for the pro, and you get a boat if you win it. So i um, super excited. Hopefully my brothers down here from California come up and fish Potholes Reservoir. It's probably the best uh, lake around for us and uh, looking forward to Orville. That's the first I heard drop shot mentioned up here. So you're getting a lot of fish drop shotting, huh? Oh, uh, absolutely. I, we probably uh, put 40 fish in a boat day one, me and my uh, co. Uh, my co had like 11 and a half pounds. Uh, day two, I drop shot again. We both put over 20 in a boat. So today was just a real grind. I only caught five today. Um, it was tough. The wind was tough. Were they deep on the drop shot or shallow? Uh, I was concentrating like 15 to 45 and just uh, casting out and just uh, slowly dragging it back, throwing a Kitek and throwing a Fisher Brother DS Minnow. Awesome, man. So you're pretty pumped up. Great event for you. Did you say this was your first Pro-Am at Wild West Bass Trail? This is my first Pro-Am. Congratulations. You going to fish another one? Yep. I'm signed up for the whole year. Awesome. Glad to hear it, man. Congratulations. Warmed it up for you. All right, so Rich Craft is in the hot seat with 3296, currently leading the pro division. And next pro up, we got Chad LeBlanc. He's got a five bass limit. He needs 9.49 pounds, Chad. We'll see. Here we go. Uh huh. 10.89. Excellent. Let's grab a couple of those and snap a picture of them, and then you can grab the mic and tell us about your event. You know what? You can hang it on that thing, too, if you want. Okay. Beautiful spotted bass. Your hands are so cut up because you caught like 100 fish, huh? <laughs> Here you go. Uh, so yeah, uh, this weekend I've been running around throwing some big stuff. Um, I've had five to six bites every day. Uh, the first day I had more than that, lost a couple good ones. Yesterday I had that six and a half pounder. Um, today I had some bites, been chasing some big groups of bait around the past couple days. Uh, that wind just kind of blew them out of my area. Uh, and then I had a limit spot. They just go catch limit, calm down, and then just go throw the big one, and I'm sore. Uh, before I get off, I, I know a couple people are watching. Uh, thank my wife. Uh, the Gordons, they let me stay with them this week. Thank you. Uh, Nick Wood, travel partner. 
And uh, thank you, Wild West, for coming on out. Thank you for sharing that. And man, you just, you've had a fantastic event and uh, you're going to take the hot seat now for a bit and see what these guys behind you got. There's, there's a few hammers there standing there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I won't be there long. <laughs> Okay, next up, Mr. Ryan Friends got a five bass limit today on the pro side. He did 23.67 pounds for the first two days. And he's going to need 10.71. We were on the water a little today, and I know he's got at least one fish. And it was a fatty. So if you got some more, this could be good. Come on up, Mr. Ryan. We're ready for you. You're going to need 10.71. Ho, 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 14.18 pounds. We have a new leader, Mr. Ryan Friend. Let's get a couple picks. And I know you got something to say. You're going to spill the beans, right? <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. That's what we're talking about. Wow. Excellent job, man. So, share a little bit with the crowd. Give them some fishing tips. Thank you. You want to thank and tell us your story, man. Yep. Great day. Yeah, I'm sure they all would like to meet you. Just uh, tell you I caught a bottle on a floating fly and explain to you how I did it and all that. But that wouldn't be true. So, in this derby, this was a different deal for me. Um, stayed with Alex. Him and I, you know, we talk. We practice together. We try to figure it out. And, uh... He kind of keyed me in on a bite on the first day of practice, and I just rolled with it. And then uh, throwing a spinnerbait. I caught every fish but one. Every fish that I weighed in except one was on a spinnerbait. And uh, I think I had eight bites the first day. I had nine bites the second day, and today I had five. That's all I got today. Luckily, I caught those two good ones. I caught that second biggest fish with about 15 minutes left, and that was my fifth fish, so that was pretty, pretty big. Um, but, yeah, just slow rolling a spinnerbait. Some of the fish moved up shallow early in the morning, and then after that, you had to let that thing sink and slow roll it down there deep. That's, that's how I fished it. Uh, Steve Klein custom-made spinnerbait, and then uh, late in the day, those fish pulled back up again about the last half hour and was able to catch them up shallow again. But that was it for me. So my shoulders are about to fall off. I've never hucked a spinnerbait around for three days like that, and I think I'll go back to a bobber. <laughs> Rest him a yep. little bit. Real quick, I just want to thank my wife again. She's my number one supporter. She cleaned the Airbnb house out today, everything. I want to thank my whole family, all my friends, the Klein Draw here, Alex, Nick, all them, love them guys. Uh, I want to thank my friends watching, John McClellan. If you're watching, you're going to be out here next year, and I know you're going to be at the next one at Orville. Uh, and then I just want to thank my sponsors, people that helped me do this, my parents, our family-owned RV business of about 47 years in Chico, my friend RVs, and then I want to thank California Outdoor Properties, and Will, I know you're watching from Buck and Bass. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Ryan, um, other than a frog bite, there's not a whole lot of better bites than throwing a spinner bait all day and catching fish, and I bet you when that one that hit 15 minutes before weigh-in, your heart was probably like pounding out of your chest, wasn't it? You know, that's why all of us do this. It's for stuff like that. Chad LeBlanc and I were talking about it, and, you know, you go to bed at night, and you just feel that thump. And, and, you know, it's not about the money and all that. It's thump. That, that, that means more. There ain't no better feeling, is there? <laughs> Congratulations. Ryan Fran moves into the hot seat on the pro side. He has got 37.85 pounds of Shasta Lake bass. Remember, if you're online trying to guess the winning weight, it's obviously got to be guessed before the end of the tournament. <laughs> so get those guesses in now, and we're going to send you out a prize pack, whoever gets closest to the winning weight. Okay, next up with the five bass limit, came in today with 24.22 pounds of Shasta Lake bass. Mr. Logan Hunt is going to need 13.64 pounds. Logan. Total weight today, 9.02 pounds. 
congratulations on making the top ten. Yeah, I caught all my fish on a Kitek with a underspin and a fat DZ, a couple other things, but basically just hit in one spot, and then uh, today I had to run around with the wind. Yeah, that wind was crazy. It changed a lot of things for a lot of people. And uh, that Kitek sure comes up a lot, or the Fatty Z swimmer. Is that kind of the same thing, like yeah. the little sassy shad? Yeah. Talking sassy shad, you can probably, probably tell my age, right? <laughs> That's some retro bass fishing. But back then, we thought nobody uses those. They don't work. And now this new stuff's pretty much like a darn sassy shad, a little bit better. Anyone else you want to thank? Uh, yeah, just thank uh, everybody I stayed with. Uh, my brother, my parents, my girlfriend, and yeah, that's about it. All right, Logan, congratulations. Okay, so Ryan is leading with 37.85 pounds. And next up, we've got one, two, three, four, five more to go. <laughs> He's calm, cool, and collected over here, man. That's Ryan Friend. So next up, coming into today with 24.67 pounds. He's got four today. He's going to need 13.19 pounds to take the lead. Come on up, Mr. Daniel Eckert. He's grinning. You got it? <laughs> Sometimes, though, it's better when that happens just to grin, right? It's all good. You're out here fishing, man. 7.04 pounds total weight. Go ahead and get a picture. They're keepers, man. You worked your, you worked your butt off for those things. There you go. Thank you. And uh, go ahead and share with everybody about your uh, last couple days out here. So I had a I had a good event. Um, happy to make the top ten after my practice was horrible. Um, I had one spot, and uh, today the wind just completely blew the whole area out that I was fishing. So, uh, you know, we had two foot rollers just blowing in on me, and and I, I couldn't even control the boat, and so I had to run around and and try to make something happen. Managed to get. I had a fifth fish. It was a line burner 13 incher, and I, I threw threw it out. It, it was too close. So um, I had a good day one um, with some key bites on an A rig, and then the rest of uh, and never got the A rig to go for for the next two days here. So um, and all the rest of my fish came uh, on a dead rig. Um, you know, I'd like to thank uh, you know all my family and friends and my girlfriend Jennifer, uh, travel partner Oren Terold, who came up as a co-angler. Um, it was it was a great event, and uh, just happy to make top ten today. Well, congratulations on making the top ten, and yeah, that was a pretty common thing which you were just talking about, guys. That I caught every fish on X Y Z yesterday. Today, I never got one fish on that bait. I had to switch it up, and that's what you guys are really good at as pro anglers is adapting to the changing conditions and not being able to not being afraid to try something new and just throw your whole game plan out and start with a fresh one and sometimes win the tournament doing that so uh congratulations and anyone else you want to thank uh yeah wild west bass for putting on a good event thank you fantastic thank you okay that was daniel we've got ryan friend still leading with 37.85 pounds a good bag of fish, Ryan. Three day total. And next up, we're going to have Mr. Gary Baldwin came in with 24.69. You'll need 13.17, Gary. 4.64 pounds. Is there one you want to take a picture of? You don't. You don't have to. Okay. I was just going to offer. But you obviously had two really good days. Congratulations on making the top 10 on the pro side. So go ahead and share a little bit with the crowd. Well, I'm pretty excited because uh, this is my first top 10 as a pro. And uh, so that, that made my day right there. Uh, in practice, I found an area that was holding a lot of fish and bait. And uh, on Friday, I went in there and pretty much stayed there all day and just kept catching fish over, you know, after fish and trying to upgrade and got up to 12 pounds. Oh, sorry. And then uh, the next day on Saturday, when I went in there, uh, it was a lot slower. 
but I still was still able to get some good fish out of it. Today, there was no fish and no bait. It was all gone. You know, like everybody's saying, this wind was brutal today, and just I kind of stayed there for a little bit, tried to get something to happen, didn't happen, so I kind of ran around trying to find areas, and just didn't work out for me today. But I'm super glad to be here, for sure. Um, I want to thank my wife and uh, my kids and stuff for supporting me. For you know, they're out there watching right now. Um, Joe from Bass Union, uh, Jim from Greater Bay Protective Services, uh, Tag Team Graphics, Tono Sports Bar and Grill, and Touch of Color. Without them, I wouldn't be here. So. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing that, and um, congratulations on making the top ten. I think it's the first of many for you. Let me see. Stand up, Ryan. Yeah, pretty hot. It's getting pretty hot. Who wants 10 against these hammers? I don't have to tell you. That's a feat in itself. Winning the tournament's obviously tough too, but just making the top 10, you did a lot of things right. So go ahead and share a little bit and thank you and thank. So uh, my team partner and I, we came up on the, off, the last weekend before off filaments and I found something pretty special. Uh, I found the bite that Ryan found and uh, spinnerbait, that was, and I was catching bigs. I mean, I'm in an area that's just holding a lot of big fish. Uh, I caught that six and a half on day one. In practice, I caught two over five. Um, one of the guys we're rooming with, he's, he was fishing the same area. He caught one that was six and a half and lost two over eight. So, but every fish that I caught this week was on a spinnerbait. Um, so I, I really had a good weekend. Uh, it was a great tournament, a great start to the year. I'm excited. For Oroville and especially the Delta, I'm a Delta guy. That's where I'm from. Uh, so I want to thank my family and friends and everybody that supported me uh, in the Wild West. It's a great tournament, buddy. Congratulations, and I know you can't wait to get to that Delta one, right? Oh, I can't wait to get to Delta. But you're a very versatile angler. This is about as opposite of the Delta as you can get. Although that watercolor didn't make you mad, did it? No, the, I was able to use Delta techniques at Shasta. I mean, I, I threw a spinner bait for three straight days. That's good stuff right there. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. All right, Ryan, then there was two more to come up. I'm going slow on purpose, Alex. <laughs> hey, I'm making good time so I can mess with you a little bit. And you've still got that Klein smile. So it's all good. <laughs> Super clean showdown. Almost. Hold on. Um, no, wait a minute. First person to give me a peace sign. Right there. Black jacket, black hat. Come on up. Come on up. Come on, yeah, come on over here. No, I'll meet you right here. Now, to get this beautiful, super clean hat, you have to say your name. Nina Holmes. Okay, Nina Holmes, congratulations. Woo! Thank you, Super Clean. The Super Clean Showdown. Hold on, Alex. I'm getting the scale ready here. All right. Uh, so, coming into today, he had 25.73 pounds. He's going to need 12.13 to take the lead. Mr. Alex Klein, five bass limit. Come on up, Alex. Oh, buddy. New leader, 13.16 pounds, Mr. Alex Klein. Good bag of Shasta bass on a crazy tough windy day. Let's see some of these big old chunks. He's digging big fat Shasta bass. You said heck with that wind, huh? Did you find you a spot maybe where it wasn't blowing as hard? Uh, yeah, I got out of the wind a little bit. I got out of the wind a little bit today. It was still blowing, it was still a challenge. Um, and it all just kind of worked out. My last cast of the day, I caught a two and a half pounder and called and came in. So when things go your way, they just go your way. And when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And I uh, and I'm a firm believer in that. Wait, did you say last cast? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead. Who would you like to thank? 
Uh, yeah, so first and foremost, uh, I got to thank my family. They're all here watching me, so that's pretty special. Uh, got to stay with Ryan and Amy Friend and everybody else at the Airbnb. That was a blast. Um, I just have an amazing support group, so thank you all. Um, I couldn't do it without all you guys. And then we uh, got to thank my sponsor, Super Clean. We're at the Super, Super Clean Showdown, and then the Super Clean guy is leading it for now, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully that stays. Um, but yeah, this week I caught all my all my fish using St. Croix rods and six pound test uh, P line. And then I was throwing a Kai Tech. And then at the beginning of the week, I was throwing a spinner bait, kind of what Ryan was doing. But that bite died for me really fast. So uh, I switched to a Kai Tech, and that's how I caught my fish. Um, I found a group of fish that were feeding on bait yesterday morning and uh, caught them really quick. Today was a different story. All that bait disappeared, and I kind of had to grind it out. Um, so I just hunkered down the area, stayed there, and caught what I could caught, catch. Last cast. I love that, man. You must, your adrenaline must have been pumping big time. <laughs> that is good stuff. Well, Alex, you are uh, just the model of a professional angler. You always come up smiling, whether you got little fish or big fish. And you're positive. Your attitude is always positive. So never change, man. Keep that up. That's what this sport needs is, you know, when you look at the partnerships we have when you represent yourself well like that they want you to fish for them so you're doing a good job young man thank you very much i look forward to the next one congratulations hot seat ryan it was great while it lasted man that's good stuff these guys are all buddies they tell each other hey i was back here catching fish they share information makes me think of that rock we're ready buddy <laughs> No five bagger. <laughs> so John May, 7.79 pounds. Congratulations on second before. Yep. Alex Klein, your winner of the Super Clean Showdown 2023 at Shasta Lake. Congratulations, Alex. My gosh, look at the size of that trophy, you guys. Wow. <laughs> pumping that iron buddy now you have to talk again okay i'll, I'll hold this for you unless you want to talk and hold dude it looks good on you thank you uh yeah i'm uh, lost for words at the moment um it's pretty surreal the uh my first pro-am win was at the delta like three months ago um, or I guess longer than that, in September. And then uh, November, I came up here and lost to Jeff by a half a pound and finished second. And then to go to the third Pro-Am and win, um, the momentum is unreal. And like I said, I can't do it without the support of my, uh, my family and my friends. It's unbelievable. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, uh, the Super Clean Showdown and Super Clean Sponsored Angler finally won it, so that's super special. Uh, I, I like the sound of that one. But then on top of this, uh, run of X's boats and that's Rev Rewards program. We get an extra $10,000 for winning first place. So when you guys are shopping for boats, um, look into Vexus because if you're fishing tournaments, they're going to pay you. So there's another 10 grand on top of this. Um, so I can't wait for that check in the mail and my second belt buckle. But again, uh, all, <laughs> all of the, uh, I was, uh, Using St. Croix rods this week, and like I said, beginning of the week during practice, I caught them on spinner baits, and I told Ryan that I was on some spinner bait fish, and um, we kind of kept exploring that, and then that bite went away from me after the first day. I only caught three fish on a spinner bait, and then had to catch the rest on Kitex. Um, I found a school of fish. I wasn't able to get on the spot the first day because I was boat 101, and it was taken up already. Uh, the second day, I was able to get in there first thing, and I caught that 15 pounds real quick. They're feeding on uh, shad, and uh, I had 15 pounds in the box by 9 a.m. Um, yeah, that doesn't happen every day. But then, uh, then today it was completely different. The bait was gone. The fish weren't feeding like they were yesterday, and I just hunkered down the area and grinded it out. And uh, I didn't have a limit till 10 o'clock. I had one good one. And then late in the day, I called up twice in my last cast. I caught a two and a half pounder and got rid of a, a pound 80. Um, so it was pretty special. Just a fun week with family and friends. And uh, thank you, guys.
Congratulations, Alex. I'm going to shake your left hand because it's open. Man, proud of you, buddy. You've been on a roll lately, yep. and you're off to a great start in 2023. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Champion Alex Klein on the pro side. He got her done. And congrats to all 20 of you that qualified for today. There's a lot of people at home right now that wanted to be up here, and you were here. So congratulations on that. We're going to stick around and have the top 10 on both sides do a group photo. Uh, Thomas, you're probably going to take care of that, right? All right, so thank you for coming out, everybody. Thank you for everybody online. And we are going to wrap it up at a windy Lake Shasta for the 2023 Super Clean Showdown.